Hello everyone and welcome back to So Aldo. On today's video, I am going to show you how to make this beautiful skirt that I'm wearing today, which is right here. If you remember a few episodes ago, I showed you how to make a basic skirt pattern and we are going to use that pattern to make this skirt. So this is very simple and straightforward. So if you are excited, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now let's get to sewing. I'm going to cut out the pieces. So on the waistline, I added 3 eighths of an inch and on the side seams, I am going to be adding 5 eighths of an inch. So I will have four panels for this sewing project because I am going to add a back seam. Now I will transfer the darts on the fabrics. This skirt will have a front zipper fly. I already have a tutorial on how to do that. I will put the link to that in the description box below or up here in the info card that you can watch later. These are the pieces that you will need for the front zipper fly. This is a zip facing and this is a zip guard. Fabrics are two layers. These are the skirt back panels and these are the front skirt panels. I'm going to stay stitch the top edge of the waistline of the skirt panels and then I am going to close the darts times four tie the ends off so it will not unravel it's time to work on sewing the zipper fly on the front skirt panel so I will be sewing it on the left side of the skirt panel I match the correct sides of the fabrics and the raw edge and I'm just going to stitch it along here I am using a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance for this after that I am going to press it and I'm going to trim off the seam allowance of the zip facing only. And then I am going to understitch it right here so the raw edge are going to be facing towards the zip facing. It's time to sew the other front skirt panel on this piece. So first I'm going to mark where the zipper ends. So it is about 5 eighths of an inch and from that mark I am going to sew the front seam. So I'm just going to stop where I place the mark. Now it's time to sew the zipper on the zipper guard. I place it on the correct side of the fabric and I'm going to sew along the edge. Here I'm just making sure that the zipper pull is out of the way. Now I'm going to match the right sides of the zipper guard and the skirt panel together and I'm going to stitch along the edge just following where I overlocked earlier. And I also make sure that the zipper is open. That way when I sew along the edge, it's going to be so much easier because it is less bulky. If you would like to watch a detailed tutorial on how to sew a zipper fly, it is titled Ultimate Step-by-Step -Step Guide on How to Successfully Sew a Front Zipper Fly. Then I just edge stitch it along here and look, it is super beautiful already. This one is the tricky part but it is actually doable the idea that I am going for here is I am pinning the zipper guard on the zipper fly so I can transfer the other end of the zipper to the zip facing so later on when I open this up it will make sense see I told you it will make sense now I'm just going to sew the zipper on the zip facing I am using a zipper foot for this project just because the zipper foot is narrow. 
take note when you are sewing the zipper on the zipper facing make sure that you are only sewing on the zip facing not the actual skirt panel so make sure you fold the skirt panel out of the way now it's time to sew the zip facing on the skirt panel as you can see I am pinning it making sure it is smooth and flat and I'm going to flip the fabric around and I'm going to sew right here this is what you will see on the actual outside of the skirt that backward L or like letter J detail on the front first I decided to do a basting stitch first just because I want to make sure that it will look nice then I realized it is a little wide so I decided to sew in about one half inch from the basting stitch then I added one more row of stitching just for decorative purposes it will make the garment look store-bought and this type of stitching design on jean skirt or jeans is very iconic so I decided to recreate that and now I'm just going to seam rip the base stitching that I made earlier now the skirt front is ready it's time to finish the skirt the back piece is very easy by the way I didn't add it any pockets for this just because I just used a leftover fabric from a previous sewing project that I made the back seam I am going to be doing a flat felt seam so I match the wrong sides of the fabrics together trust me it will make sense later on and it's going to be beautiful after that I am going to press the seam open and I'm going to trim one side of the seam allowance just going to fold in the seam allowance and I am making sure that the short allowance is inside this casing that I am creating and I'm going to press it and then I am going to edge stitch it along here to create that iconic denim seam look you are going to remake this seam be sure that you are using 5 8 of an inch because my other tutorial when I made this skirt I was struggling because I only gave it one half inch seam allowance I did a base stitch first so I can try it on to make sure that the fit is perfect and then once I am satisfied I went ahead and sew it permanently now it's time to attach the waistband on the skirt and I didn't have enough fabric so I just used what I have so I stitch a few fabrics to create a one long strip of fabrics but ideally you want it to be one piece so you don't have seams I match the right sides of the fabrics together and I'm sewing along the 3 8 of an inch seam allowance that I gave for this skirt the way the waistband is about 4 inches in width now I am going to match the ends of the waistband and sew along this edge and I'm going to do the same on the other end obviously if you notice I folded the seam allowances already so when I fold it in it's going to be easy and it's already prepared for me if you are still watching this tutorial thank you so much for spending your time with me and yeah if you can give this video a like I will totally appreciate that will help my channel grow thank you then I trim off the excess fabrics and I also trim off the corners so when I turn the fabric correct side out it's gonna give me a sharp corners and here I'm just trimming off some fabric especially along the darts because there are so many layers already so I'm just going to trim that off and then I'm going to fold in the waistband encasing the raw edge inside I also press the waistband so it is so much easier to work with what do you think of adding belt loops on the skirt? Well, give me your feedback down below. After I press it, it looks so much better and I didn't have to use the clips anymore. Now I place some pins along the edge of the waist seam just to make sure that I will be catching the fabric at the back. And then I am going to top stitch it all the way around. And if you notice, I use a contrasting thread this time. I actually love how it looks. I use a light gray thread for this. 
once I got closer to the zipper teeth, I just kind of manually turn the wheel so I don't break the needle. And I'm just going to lift up the presser foot and pivot and continue on sewing until I reach where I started. I'm being extra careful, especially along the edge here because there are so many layers of fabrics. Now it's time to make a buttonhole and put the button on the waistband and we are almost done. As you can see here, I just used the button to measure how long or how big the buttonhole is going to be and I just mark that and use my buttonhole maker. Yikes, I didn't close the compartment properly and the buttonhole maker was pushing it and luckily it didn't get stuck. If you are wondering, it takes 30 seconds to make one buttonhole you guys we are almost to the home stretch now I'm just putting the button on the back of the waistband or the tab and then we are done just be careful when you hammer it don't hammer it your fingers I did that before and it's no fun I'm just going to open the buttonhole and we are done yay how beautiful is this Okay, I haven't decided if I want to hem the skirt or just leave it raw like this. Leave me a comment down below which one you think is better. I think raw edge is going to give it a casual look because the skirt looks so perfect. I really love that casual look to it. But let me know what you think so I can decide what I want to do. And this is what the final skirt looked like. Oh my gosh, I am ecstatic right now. I am so, so happy. I conquered my sewing fear which was the zipper fly and yeah it's not as hard as I thought it would be anyway I love the fit of this skirt even though this is a pencil skirt it doesn't make my butt like stick out that much and it still look modest and considering that this is a pencil skirt and there is no slit whatsoever I can easily walk around without a problem we check out that back seam. I'm absolutely in love with it. <laughs> Sorry. That is it for this tutorial. I hope this is helpful to you and I hope that you are inspired. If you would like to see more sewing tutorials from so Aldo, I have all the playlists right here. Go ahead and check them out. I have over 300 sewing tutorials for you to enjoy. Until next time, bye!